Hi everyone, so my name is Erica Marie and I'm known as the Chakra Analyzer. Today I wanted to log on and do a reading for the Divine Feminine Collective Energy at this time. It's been about a month since I read for the Divine Feminine, so we're going to take a look and see what's going on in the Divine Feminine's headspace. Then we're going to move down and see what's going on in the DF's heart space. And then we're going to take a look and see what action the Divine Feminines are taking at this time, what the DF's true intentions are, and then we're going to take a look and see what's going on in the DF's environment, okay? So currently what's going on in the Divine Feminine's headspace, I have the third eye chakra clarified by the four of swords, clarified by the angel of strength. So these three cards together are telling me that in the Divine Feminine's headspace, she knows, her intuition's telling her that she still has some more healing left to do, okay? And this time she's strong enough to, to finish off whatever this healing is because the Divine Feminines have been on a really, really long journey a long healing journey and the thought of them being told oh my gosh you still have more healing left to do um, normally when <laughs> they would be like what they you know throwing in the towel like I can't do this anymore but um, this time around um, they're recognizing it you know immediately and they're seeing you know they're seeing some of you know their abundance unfold like things are falling into place for them um, but they're kind of wondering why it hasn't happened completely yet. It's kind of like, where's that abundance? You know, you're looking for it. Um, you know that it's coming. You can feel it, but you're you're wondering why you're still being kind of like blocked from it or like, um, you know, why is it not happening? Um, and you know it's divine timing as well. So we're going to talk more about that as I get through the reading. But in your headspace currently, to sum it up, divine feminines, you know that there's still some healing that you have to do. You are recognizing this right away and you're okay with it. You're, you're like, hey, show me where it's at. I'm ready, let's get rid of this. You know, whatever is sitting in my energy that's no longer serving me. You're ready to, to heal it, okay? So moving from the head space to the heart space. In your heart space, we have the King of Wands clarified by no, which is also clarified by my indecision card, but it's reversed, and then my throat chakra card is also reversed. So this is telling me that in your heart, you are saying no to whoever, whoever this person is. And the King of Wands, this type of energy, I'm trying to see how I can describe this person without sounding old. Um, so the King of Wands to me is that passionate energy, he's kind of like a go-getter. Um, very, you know, kind of easy on the eyes, very smooth, um, kind of like a, I guess, a player energy. Um, so this person, you're saying no to now. You're like, nope, I see, you know, you're manipulative. I see your ways and you're not going to, you know, play on my heartstrings anymore. And you're saying no to him and you've made the decision. You're not in like this back and forth energy anymore. If you were, it would be upright like this. You are making the decision that you just have to stop talking to this person, okay? Um, you've made your decision. Your, your heart has made the decision for you. Remember that your heart is like 5,000 times stronger than your brain, okay? Um, it's actually the heart that tells the brain what to do. People don't realize that, but it is. And you can take control of your heart, you guys. You know, don't don't let that nonsense tell you where, oh, it's my heart telling me this, I don't have control, or, you know. No, you do have control over your heart, okay? You can decide, when I say this, you decide, decide where you're investing that energy of your heart. Where are you going to, you know, put your focus? Where are you going to invest that energy? Because the, the heart energy is, is so strong, it's so powerful. Where are you going to put that at the end of the day? Are you going to put it into this king of, this king of wands? No, you're not. You decided you're not to anymore. So this tells me that you're putting your, your heart energy towards yourself. That's the self-love, okay? So moving from the head space to the heart space, so now we're going to move to the action that the Divine Feminines are taking. So you know that you still have to heal. You know you have to cut this person out of, you know, cut, cut the heartstrings um, from this person. And I know um, last month in my reading, I think um, that we did talk about third party situation. Um, and even if you've been doing the work regarding a third party situation, 
this reading is telling me there's still a little bit of work left to do. There's still some energy sitting in there, okay? That is no longer serving your highest good that you have to heal from. So the action that the DFs are taking at this time is the Three of Pentacles, clarified by the Queen of Swords, Ten of Wands, and then the Two of Hearts. Um, also clarified is the um, the Broken Heart, the community card, this is this womenizing card right here. Um, this is my cheater, um, my my cheating third party energy card, clarified um, by the the sixth chakra, which is right here. And this is actually, like I said, in your headspace. So your headspace is matching your actions, which is which is a good thing. Okay, so you are taking kind of like that Queen of Swords approach. Um, the Queen of Swords can kind of um, be, I don't want to say the word, you know, cold hearted, you know, but um, it's kind of like, I'm, I'm, I'm cutting it, I'm cutting it off. I know you're not good for me anymore. That's the Queen of Swords. She's learned her lesson. She's done. She's wise. She's gone through life. Um, and she's not going to carry the heavy burden anymore because the Ten of Wands is a heavy burden card. Okay. Um. And it, and it has to do, she knows that this little bit of healing has to do with the heart chakra. But not only that, it's it's the um, the sacral chakra. Creativity, creation is my sacral chakra healing card. Um, and it's no surprise. So we are, so the divine feminines are healing from a third party situation. This negative third party energy is, is sitting in the sacral chakra because that's where you, you know, you have sexual intimacy and it's also sitting in the heart chakra because that's where you have, you know, that heart intimacy, okay? The two chakras are very much connected. And you know that there's some some third-party situation, um, negative energy still sitting within your within your aura. So you're taking action to heal this. And that's what you're doing. And once you do, then that two of cups is gonna is gonna be here for you. And I know I talked about that about a month ago that you are attracting um your vibrational match and it's it's true you are um you might have connected with that person and maybe your relationship you're both um recognizing that there's a little bit of healing left to do some people come together where they can heal you know together um the last little bits of pieces okay and then some people don't come together until they're like 100 percent whole where they've done all the healing work it's kind of like, here's my whole heart, here's this person's whole heart, and we come together, okay? So it just really depends on whatever your karmic or your soul contract, your karma and your soul contract, you know, says. Um, but please know that this person is is very close or, you know, near. If you haven't met them yet, um, they are on their way, okay? So that is who is going to be your vibrational match. Um, okay, so moving from the action, so you are taking... The measures to heal that last bit of energy that's sitting that little residue and you're putting down the heavy burdens you're cutting ties and you're moving towards this relationship okay so your true intentions currently are um i have the healer card so healing clarified by the jack of wands and cornucopia so these three cards together is your true intentions is that you want to heal and you know that your abundance is going to come in once you're healed. You already know this. You feel it. You know it. It's in your intuition is telling you this. But so the Jack of Wands, that's my divine timing card. You know it's all going to happen in divine timing. You're surrendering to this. You're like, I'm okay with this. So normally, um, you know, maybe in the past, if you are you were being told, I still have healing left to do, you'd be like, ah, no, like I can't take this anymore. Um, but you've kind of overcome that. You're like, eh, if I do have a little bit of healing left to do, I'm okay with that. I can do it. I'm strong enough. I know to do it. I know I can recognize it immediately because I'm so in tuned and aligned with my body. Um, you know, my mind, body, and soul is so in, in alignment that I can recognize it and identify it right away. Um, so, you know, as within, so without. So you might be being triggered in your environment right now and, and that is helping you mirror back to you what is still in your energy that needs to be healed, okay? So that's why we're going to take a look and move over and see what's going on in your environment. So in your environment, we have the Six of Wands. This is the victory card. And it's clarified by a deep cleanse. 
Divine Feminines, all you really need is that deep cleanse. Like, if you can head out to a body of water, if you're going by, the, you know, if you're by the ocean, um, if you're by a lake or, you know, river, pond, if you don't have access to any of that, um, please just take a saltwater bath, okay? But you need a deep cleanse in order to scoop out whatever is in that sacral chakra and that heart chakra that's no longer serving you. You need to scoop it out. And I know exactly what it is. Um, what's falling away is blossoming abundance. So this is this is my falling away card, envy. So envy is that jealousy card, that resentment card, that anger card. Okay, this is what still is in your energy, in your like your aura. Okay, this is still in your energy field. And this is what needs to be um, cleansed. This is what needs to be purged from your energy in order for this relationship that you are manifesting to come in to full form. Okay, you might have met this person already and you just have a little bit of healing left to do and they do too. Or this person you have not met yet, but it is like literally in your energy right now. Like it's going to happen once you take care of of this okay divine feminines you are so close like it is right around the corner for you okay i'm so proud of the divine feminines and all the hard work that you've gone through and all the healing work this is this is great this is amazing um so yeah that concludes your reading for this month of march 2020 again my name is eric marie the chakra analyzer you can follow me on my youtube channel and watch all my videos on there you can also find me on twitter linkedin instagram and of course facebook under eric marie the chakra analyzer okay everybody have a good night bye